Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, joined by my frequent co-host, Malka. And today, we have another unboxing and review, but this time, it's for some vintage Abilene boots. Let's get into it. These vintage Abilene boots were a gift from Aaron Watson, who is a moderator of my cowboy boot group on Facebook, which if you haven't joined yet, you totally should because it's a great time. And he ordered these Abilene's through eBay and they didn't fit, which is always a huge risk when you're buying boots online through eBay because a lot of times you can't return them. Luckily, I am the same size as him, so he sent them to me. And I wanted to do a unboxing and review of these Abilene's. So, let's get into it and open up this package. All right. I'm so pumped for this. Now, I have a pair of Abilene's already, which you may have seen previously in one of my videos. Uh, the Abilene boot that I have is, is eight years old, so they can last a long time. Whew, it's packed up tight. Oh, you're excited for this, huh? Me too. The suspense is unbearable. I don't wanna ruin this, because I feel like I could use this again. Get a little bit extra space here. There we go. So here is the box for Abilene boots. <laughs> Malka is super interested. Now Abilene boots is made in the USA. They are a fairly inexpensive brand and sort of on par with Justin's and Ariat's. So if you want a brand that's made in the USA, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, then, you know, it might be a good idea to, to try Abilene boots. Wow. See, this is model 6136 Abilene's, and they don't make this model anymore, but it's looking in great condition. Wow. It has a two inch heel here, uh, one stitch on the welt here, a uh, nice, nice stitching on the vamp. That's very nice. And I like the stitching on the shaft here and how it sort of pops, right? That's really cool. Now these are practically new. As you can see, the sole has very little scuffing on it. As far as the insole goes, there is a soft heel, not a leather insole, but it's a uh, it's one of those perforated foam insoles. Feels nice. All right, should we try these on? I'm ready. All right, so I'm trying on these boots with my Dan Post boot socks. All right, okay. So it is a little snug. Wow, they are, they are super snug actually. You can tell right here, you can see a little bit of my toe. It seems thinner than my other D. And as you can see here, my toe is sort of bulging out the side, which is never a good thing to see. In fact, I have two toes here that you can see bulging out the side. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get a little bit better view of this. See, you don't really want that. You should never have that in a boot, you can see my two toes here. Here's my pinky toe. There's my other toe there. Other than them being too tight at the toe, they are a quality leather and they look great too. Like they'll be able to shine up really, really nice. But I can just tell right now that the way that it's pinching the top of my foot where my toes are, that I'm gonna, I'm, my foot would like start to fall asleep, right? And that's not what you want when you put on a pair of boots. It's a great quality boot, but it's just a little too tight up at the top of my foot. Whenever you try on a pair of boots, they should always feel good right from the get-go. Never buy a pair of boots after you try them on 
thinking that they will become comfortable even though they are not at that moment. It's going to make you have a bad experience with cowboy boots. A lot of people think that cowboy boots should be uncomfortable when you first get them, but that is strictly not the case at all. If you don't have a good fit or a good feel, when you first put a cowboy boot on, you probably never will with that cowboy boot. So I think that I'm going to have to pass these along to somebody else. All right, so these Abilene model 6136 boots were a little tight for me, but I have to say that besides the fact that they didn't fit me, I'm very impressed with their quality. Malka, get out of there. Jesus, I'm trying to do a video here. Okay, let's wrap up here. I wanna summarize my ideas for this boot. This is Abilene's model 61. 36 and it's a vintage boot so you can't get it anywhere except for maybe in used boot stores or on eBay. Abilene isn't selling it new anymore. They've discontinued the model. That said, it is a tighter fit. So the D width that this boot is, is thinner than the D width of my Abilene boot that I've had for eight years. So it's a tough to gauge, it's plus, plus it's a different toe model. All right, this is, this is a, a traditional cowboy, uh, sort of a medium round, and this is just a round toe. So that probably had something to do with it as well because up here is where I was feeling the tightness in my foot and there's less taper here than there is on this boot, so the taper comes down much more tight to the round toe. That said, it is tight on me. I would probably do better with a double E width or a regular E width if Abilene made this boot in regular E width. Uh, not all boot companies do from what I understand. So I would probably go with a double E width if I was to choose this boot. Uh, Aaron and I had the same problem. He sent me a picture of him wearing this boot and he had a problem with the toe bulging out the side just like I had and that is a huge problem. I took these boots off a minute ago and when I did I just felt the blood rushing back into my foot. It was, it was very, very tight and that's not what you want out of a boot. I am impressed with how this boot is made. Now previously I thought that the piping was plastic, but it looks more like a leather piping in the shaft here. And in the shaft of this Abilene boot, it's definitely a plastic piping that cracks. Uh, it's cracked in several places along the shaft here and has separated from the top of the shaft as well. So this is not what I would like to see from a lot of boots, but it hasn't decreased how the boot has worn. This is an eight to nine year old boot already as it is. So I still get a lot of use out of this boot. This seems to have leather piping up the shaft here, this model. It also has a leather sole. Overall, this is a very nice quality boot made in the USA. If you were to buy Abilene boots new, they probably range between $125 to $200. So they're a very affordable boot. This is super nice, but it doesn't fit me, unfortunately. Huge thanks to Aaron for letting me try these boots, but they don't fit me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give them to one of you guys. We're gonna do a giveaway for these Abilene 6136 model. Here's what you have to do to win these Abilene boots. First, make sure that you're subscribed to me on YouTube. Second, like this video. And third, comment below with what you love about cowboy boots the most. And then next Thursday, I'm going to pick somebody at random and I will send you these boots for free. No strings attached. Just so you know, these boots are 
10 and a half D, and that's a narrow D, so this is made for somebody with a narrow foot. If they don't fit you and you still want to enter, no worries, you can always swap boots with somebody. People are swapping boots through my Facebook cowboy boot group all the time. So if you win these, you can go there and see if anybody wants to trade you some boots for some boots that are in your size. So there are several different things that you can do if you win these boots. So make sure you enter because next week at this time, I will be choosing one of you at random and I will send you these boots for free. Thank you so much for watching today. Be sure to enter this giveaway because it is an awesome opportunity. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support while I'm making these cowboy boot videos. You guys are the best. If you want more cowboy boot content from me, I was recently on the podcast Perception is Reality, hosted by David Battaglia, and we were talking about perceptions of people who wear cowboy boots. Now, the whole premise of the podcast is to talk about different ideas and opinions and I wanted to talk about how sometimes people who wear cowboy boots are perceived differently than who they actually are. So if you want to go and listen to that, be sure to catch that. The podcast is Perception is Reality and I have the link to the podcast in the description. Be sure that if you listen on iTunes to give him a review because that helps his podcast quite a bit. Thank you so much for watching today. Do not forget to enter the giveaway and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Abilene, Abilene, it's a pretty boot and it looks so clean. If you want to be seen in these today, just enter my giveaway. Enter my giveaway, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Peace.